with your boyfriend on the beat. Marielle Franco. On July 27, 1979, Marielle Francisco de Silva was born in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, to parents Marielle and Antonio, who raised their family in an area called Mare that's considered a slum. As a young girl around the age of seven, Franco began working to earn money to help her family financially. At the age of 19, she gave birth to her daughter, Luyara, but the relationship with her daughter's father did not last. To support herself, she worked as a preschool teacher while beginning her pre-university studies so she could further her education at a major university. In 2002, Franco earned a scholarship and attended the Pontifical Catholic University of Rio de Janeiro, earning her bachelor's degree in social sciences. Her next step was attending the Fluminense Federal University and earning her master's degree in public administration. The title of her master's thesis was UPP, the decline of the favelas in three letters, a thesis that examined the impact the police was having on the favelas they worked in. UPP means pacifying police units, an initiative Brazilian law enforcement instituted in an attempt to retake the favelas from the gangs. Between 2005 and 2007, Franco began working with the Socialist Party state representative named Marcelo Frexio, where well, Franco and Frexio and others created the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights and Citizenship. Franco was motivated by the death of a friend by a stray bullet during a shootout between the police and drug dealers. Her motivation also led her to join the Brazil Foundation at the Mare Center for Solidarity Studies and Action. She was not only working to change the conditions in Brazil because the death of her friend, but the overall conditions for black people in Brazil and other oppressed people in Brazil. During Brazil's municipal elections of 2016, Franco was a candidate running for a city council seat. She was seen as having a long shot to win because she was a black woman from the favelas who was an unmarried 19-year-old mother. But despite the perceptions and the odds, Franco earned the fifth highest vote total with over 46,500 votes to become one of 51 of Rio City's council members. As a city council member, she used her position to help create change in Brazil's fight for black rights, LGBTQ plus rights, women's rights, and the rights of Brazil's poor, and many more. She was a force to be reckoned with. Franco served as the chairperson of the Women's Defense Commission and also positioned herself to be able to oversee Rio de Janeiro's federal interventions into their local dealings. She pushed hard to destigmatize LGBTQ relations and even worked to create a bill that would approve a day of lesbian visibility. The bill was eventually voted down. Franco consistently spoke out against the oppression the people in Brazil were experiencing. She was especially vocal against the consistent police violence. March 13, 2018 was the last time she was able to use her voice via social media to speak out against police violence. Young Black Women Moving Power Structures was the roundtable discussion Franco attended on March 14, 2018. Two hours after leaving the roundtable, Franco and her driver were ambushed by two men shooting nine times, killing both Franco and the driver. According to the investigation, it was concluded that Franco was assassinated by the Brazilian Federal Police. Two former military police officers were arrested for the murder of Franco in 2019, who had ties to the Brazilian president, Jair Bolsonaro, his neighbor, and his son. Protests of over 100,000 people were held all over the world in the name of Marielle Franco by those who supported her activism. Organizations such as the UN of Brazil and many others fought to have Franco's death investigated so justice can be served. Franco fought hard for the rights of others and now she needed her people to fight for her. Marielle Franco was a true soldier in the war against oppression who was unfortunately murdered by people who feared her power and feared change. Franco's last words to the world via social media were, how many others will have to die for this war to end? To the courageous Marielle Franco, we proudly stand on your shoulders. For more information, please visit www ontheshoulders1.com You can also support On the Shoulders of Giants on Patreon at patreon.com backslash O-T-S-O-G